All right, everybody, this is Casper. <coughs> he is a ghost, possible head for albino. He was born in 2008. I bought him uh, online, actually, from, uh, I think it was, yeah, Clockwork Reptile Company. Um, he's pretty cool, I mean, I kind of wanted a uh, an annery because I had multiple breeding project ideas, and it was on a king snake one day, kingsnake.com, and I saw him for a very very low price. And I was like, you know what? Let me just get a hypo that also has the annery gene instead of just an annery. And it worked out good. Um, he's probably a little over three feet, maybe three and a half. Uh, I'm pretty ho sure he's Central American too, just from the, the growth rate. I mean, all my other Colombian or South American snakes just really are exploding. Like the growth is massive. Um, but him and Joao have been growing pretty slow. And just the luck they have, you can tell. I mean, most ghosts are Central American anyway. But, um, yeah. His enclosure right now is a uh, 34 quart sterilized tub until I can get him in a bigger cage. They're good for now. They have plenty of room to move around. Um, I just want to get in my females in those cages first before I start moving the males because the females are going to be the ones who probably in about a year are just going to explode to six and seven feet. His diet right now, he was getting small rats, but he kind of bulked up. So uh, he's going to be getting medium rats whenever I get my rats in. Uh, I hope to breed him 2012 again. I've said this before, but I'm either going to put him with uh, Sally, the pastel salmon boa constrictor, or Chloe, the albino boa constrictor, to. Uh, Possibly get some sun glows, prove him out for albino. So that'd be really cool. that'd be sick if he proved out to be albino. Hi for albino. So my ultimate goal in buying him was to make uh, I always, I always forget what it is, either moon glows or snows. I have to look back and see you know, what I was gonna make with who. But yeah, this is Casper. Hope you enjoyed.